Okay, now we're uh, getting deeper into the paper. Um, in fact, we're all the way to item six already. Uh, and item six is uh, writing the model and results section of the paper. Uh, now, it references back to chapter three uh, about basic equation editing and table design. And I want you to pay close attention to how these equations are written, okay? Um, and you can, you, you, you can and need to do all of this in your Microsoft Word equation editor. Now, Microsoft Word, uh, your, your version may or may not have the equation editor add-on activated. Uh, you'll have to figure out how to go in and activate that equation editor add-on. Um, but it, chapter three does a very good outline of exactly how, within equation editor, step by step, how to generate uh, an equation that looks like this, an econometric model that looks like this. Uh, e chapter 3 also goes into great detail about how to construct output tables, okay? In other words, tabling your coefficient estimates and their p-values, uh, as well as additional information. Uh, you'll see, for instance, here on page 34, it covers how to uh, make a table, uh, how to uh, turn it into a single space table, um, even screenshots for border and shading options, uh, and ultimately ending up with a table that looks something like this, um, which is the preferred format for your paper, or at least something uh, very close to that anyway. Um, I'm not extremely um, uh, uh, tied to any specific format of a table, but I don't want a bunch of lines in it, okay? I want it to look professional, okay? And I'll show you in a minute. We'll refer back to our example paper uh, that uh, was attached to item number four on Blackboard. We'll refer back to that in a minute and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Um, that said, um, I would highly encourage you to take chapter three step by step and duplicate not just the equations but the tables all the way through to say figure 3.8 or at least figure 3.7 duplicate these put the numbers in them in the whole nine yards because you know, constructing tables and constructing equations can be a little quirky. It depends on the keystrokes you use and things like that. Uh, it takes a little bit of time figuring it out, and there's no sort of rule book to go by. That's why I wrote Chapter 3, because it is kind of a rule book. It is kind of a step-by-step -step instructions manual of how to create this stuff. If we look at what this actually is in practice, here's an equation. Here, here is a typical equation. Um, and, and again, download that paper uh, and look at it with me because it may be a little blurry in this lens. I don't know. Let's see if we can't get it to sharpen up any. Yeah, that's about as good as I'm going to get it. Um, anyway, uh, it, it's, it, it, see how that equation looks, how clean it looks. Now you're not going to have any capital sigmas or anything like that in there. Uh, yours is going to, your equation is going to look more like that in the book. And here's what a typical table will look like, okay, in a, in a professional paper. Okay, so, um, and you can see how clean it is, how everything's nice and neat and easy to read. And that's important because you want the, you want the reader to be able to interpret what you're writing uh, with relative ease. Uh, if, if, if they're trying to not only understand what you're doing, 
but also have to deal with stylistic issues, uh, you know, trying to figure out what coefficient applies to what and so forth. Um, it just really frustrates the reader and it makes you look bad. So, uh, and it's going to frustrate me and it's going to result in a lower grade. Uh, so just, just make sure that you, you look thoroughly at chapter three. Um, uh, you know, combine that, overlap that with uh, the tables, how the tables look in, uh, in, in this example paper. Uh, and give me something uh, similar to either one of those and, and you'll be fine. Just make sure it's clean, make sure it's tight, make sure all your margins are correct, etc. Now, what I want you to um, realize as well is that there is, there is going to be a slight um, difference here and it's something I mentioned before I believe in item number four um, in, in one of the descriptions in item number four was that your paper is going to have slightly different sections in it and I'm sure you've already figured that out not only is the title page different than this example paper um, but this example paper has an introduction has a literature review section okay um, here's the big difference. The model and data section in this paper are combined. In your paper, you're going to have a separate data section. However, the results section in this paper, in the example paper, is standalone. You're actually going to have a model and results section, okay? So your model and results sections are going to be combined. And you know the, the big reason for that is is uh, that we have a standalone section in this paper is because the results were so uh, the, the, there were uh, uh, there were so many results that we had to report that we just went ahead and made a whole separate section for it. You don't need to do that. So combine your model and results section. Um, everything else, however, should be uh, pretty cut and dry. Um, Again, use this um, example paper as your guideline on how uh, things should be worded. Um, you know, again, you may not understand, especially in the model and results section of this paper, you may not understand uh, everything completely uh, that we're doing here because, uh, of course, we have PhDs in this material. Um, and so some of the methodology we use is quite sophisticated. Uh, that said, it should still give you a very good idea of how we phrase things, how uh, sentences or how topics are worded. Um, it should give you a good feel for what your writing should sound like. So uh, make sure make sure you uh, uh, take a, a, a close look at these particular sections in this paper in order to get a good idea of how to write your sections. Again, if you have uh, any questions at all, please meet me on the discussion board uh, during my online office hours or shoot.